Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up. I know I'm late. I'm not gonna even try to explain this anymore because we just know that I post these late and that's just how it's gonna be. And um, I'm really sorry. I really am. In the month of October, I read two physical books and I caught up with one Wattpad book. So I just kind of counted it as I finished it, even though technically the novel itself isn't finished. But I counted it because my Goodreads is really slacking. I'm like five books behind, but it's okay. So today I'm going to discuss those three and tell you how I liked them. So the first book I finished in the month of October was Saving Everest by Teenage X Nightmare. This is a Wattpad story about this guy who attempts suicide and then after that attempt fails he has to go back to school and deal with everything that's happened since then. I liked it. Obviously the quality of literature is not great, um, but it's just a really fun story. It was recommended to me by one of my friends on Twitter, XO Spidey XO, and I'll leave all her information down below. She's really awesome. You guys can check her out on Twitter and all of that fun stuff, but I gave it three stars. Obviously, it's not completed yet. I think there's like 50 chapters up right now or something like that, and I don't know how many there's going to be because that's how Wattpad works. You just don't never really know until it's over, but I gave it three stars because I did enjoy the story, but the writing is like not great. <laughs> the next book I completed in the month of October was The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I read this in anticipation for the movie. I had started reading this maybe a year or a year and a half ago. I couldn't get into it at the time. I don't know what it was. It just wasn't my fancy. So I picked it up again. I read it all the way through and I absolutely adored it. I gave it five stars. Um, I just thought it was really riveting. I liked how it was written a lot. It goes between three perspectives and I really liked that it would go back in time then it would come back forward so it would like keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time you were reading it. I just thought it was really great. Sadly I heard that the movie was not very good so I don't know if I will be watching that. Um, but I give this 5 out of 5 stars. Really great adult literature if you're looking for a good mystery slash thriller. Highly recommend. And then the last book I read in the month of October was Beowulf. This is the Seamus Heaney edition. Basically, if you don't know, like Beowulf was a old, old story. I think it was written in like 300 AD or something like that. And obviously it's been translated. And this is a translation by Seamus Heaney. I actually really enjoyed this, surprisingly. Um, it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't the most terrible. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to understand a single word that was being said, but I was able to get the gist of the story and I thought it was actually pretty good. I gave this four stars, which is really surprising to me. Obviously I had to read this for school. I didn't read this on my free will, um, but I don't read many books for school anymore. But now that I'm like really into reading and I'm into like Goodreads and stuff like that and tracking my reading, I've really enjoyed reading the books for school and it's actually helped me a lot because now I can like say that I read it. Um, but I really enjoyed this. Basically, it is a epic poem about this, um, sort of hero type character who basically is a hero and goes through all the, like, defeating, like, three different creatures. It's, it's really good. I actually really liked it. Um, I, did, it, I think it astounds me that the writing back in the day is really not that much different than what it is today. Obviously, it's probably a little more thought out and, I don't know, I just really liked this. I was really taken by surprise. So if you ever have to read this for school, I'd actually recommend reading it, so go for it. So sadly, that is all the books I read in the month of October. I was reading another book, but I finished it on over first. I will talk about that book in my next wrap up, but I actually, it wasn't that bad of a reading month. I've been really in a slump since I've started back school, obviously, so I'm really behind. So I'm really hoping that November is a lot better reading month, but mainly December because November is like half over now and it's really not looking too good either. So um, I'm just praying that I can get my act together. Um, wait, reading more Wattpad books, reading more ebooks, short books, short stories, anything. Um, because I, it makes me really sad that I'm not reading enough. Um, so I guess that's it for this video. I'm sorry it's super short, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check me out on my social media, links are all down below. All of them are at Bookish Sammy. So you can check me out there. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!